<laughs> hey, Barber Lee Recycling Strong, you guys know it's all about power, and guess what? It's starting to get cold in Idaho, and so I'm gonna be on a trainer for the next six to seven months. So when it comes to sitting in front of a TV every day, there's a lot to think about. You guys know I've rode Compu Trainers for a long time, and you know I love the Compu Trainer. But before I ever rode a Compu Trainer, I rode a Trax, or a Tax, or however they say it. This is the first original power trainer that I ever had. And back in the day, it was metal. It had a whole metal frame, came back to a power unit, and you could take your handlebar thing, you take your front wheel off, and it mounted right on a little deal, and you could actually drive and ride your bike while you were riding. So that's, a, that's the first ever power meter. I still have it and a unit that I ever owned. Well, now these guys have come out with something that is absolutely, I think, top shelf for a couple of reasons. And I'm gonna have Schwinn, is that how we say it, right? He doesn't look like the Schwinn I'm going to see tonight at Cyclocross, so let me tell you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna have him walk through this. And the reason that we all should be riding this new uh, power trainer and why it's the thing of the future. Go ahead, take it away. Oh, well, thank you uh, for this introduction. Um, this is the Tex Neo Smart. Yeah. Um, it has a N Plus and Bluetooth uh, connection. So you can set it up with uh, any device you want to, so such as a smartphone, uh, uh, for example, a tablet uh, or a PC. Uh, you can run it also with third-party apps like uh, Swift, Trainer Road, uh, KinoMap, so uh, um, anything is possible with right. that one. Uh, but actually, it's so quiet. Uh, yeah. um, you only hear the uh, um, you only hear the chain, and um, it's also really uh, accurate. And that's a really big point to have. Obviously, if you guys have not rode one of these, um, not to pick on kicker, but the kicker is really pretty loud. And so, if you've got it in an upstairs or you got a lot going on, you have to turn the music up so you can hear it. And that's not. I'm not saying they're not a good trainer. What I'm saying is they're noisy. Where this is super, super quiet, which is nice. Go yeah, ahead. Indeed, indeed. And well, uh, uh, it uh, is really accurate. Uh, it is now within 1%. So, uh, well, um, if you do, for example, a power training, which is really important to, uh, uh, during your exercises, um, you can always count on uh, accuracy uh, there. Yeah, yeah, um, on this one. Uh, so I'm gonna add, I'm gonna ask you a hard question. So if I have my Pioneer power meter and I'm reading it on the front yeah. and I've got this running at the yeah. same time, yeah. you're saying I'm not going to have to recalibrate them, they're going to be 20% off. Indeed, 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 okay, indeed. and that's another really important part for you guys because when you go on a trainer, I'm not saying in the winter you can't just say, okay, I'm going to go with this and I'm going to stick with it, but it is super frustrating when you're riding your power meter and you're, you're on your trainer and they're significantly different. And I'm not going to pick on certain companies, but I'm telling you a lot of them there is a big difference. So it's nice to know that they've taken accuracy right into what this is doing. That's one of the things I really like. Yeah, and this one is the only real direct drive. Um, there's no additional gearing here inside. So uh, you see here the discus and we placed our um, 24 neodymium magnet. So that's the strongest magnet. So that's a market. flywheel, right? In there? Um, no, there's okay. no flywheel inside. Okay. Um, it's turning about coils. Oh, wow. So uh, it's very precise and we have a simulated flywheel. So for example, uh, uh, we have here the flux and that has a, uh, well, uh, a flywheel of seven kilograms. So that's the maximum flywheel. But this one can simulate even your weight, your oh. own weight. So mm -hmm. that's, that's, uh, that's up to 125 kilograms. I don't know what it is in pounds, but um, it's, yeah. Um, Google um, that. <laughs> it, it, it is really uh, uh, smooth, the pedaling, yes. Okay, so bottom line. Yeah. Why do I need this? And what's kind of a price point? I mean, if I got rid of my, why would I get rid of my Compu Trainer tomorrow and have this on my floor? Uh, first of all, you can connect it to any software. Uh, I can do the Compu Trainer the same way. Okay. Uh, Give me something well, good. Yeah. Give me the meat and potatoes. <laughs> it's really quiet. I think okay. that's really important. So okay. I'm not we, gonna wear out tires. For, uh, it's for quiet. For example, when you have children, it's yeah. fine when you are uh, sitting next. Uh, when you have children, you don't want their hands going in the snow. <laughs> no, That's one reason. Indeed. Okay. Uh, it's really accurate. Okay. Uh, you always can count on this one. Yeah. And man, uh, um, you need to feel this because it has also road feel, so it simulates. For example, when you are connected to Swift or to our apps, uh, and you see cobblestones, yeah. you feel also the cobblestones. So that's really, really unique. Okay. All right. So that's the number one reason. All right.
So all right, you guys, so I hope you really go in, look at what these guys have got and their new technology right now, and really dial in to the performance of what this is doing. A couple things that I like so far is I really like how wide this is, and I like how easy it is to collapse and to be able to put away. And because if you're in a smaller area, things like that, you have to take those things into consideration. And you guys know I travel a ton. I'm always on the road, I'm always shipping my bike. So when I travel and I have to ship a CompuTrainer, uh, it's, it takes, I have a whole little box that I put it in with rollers and everything like that. This is a lot easier, simpler system for me to dial up, get there, and I don't know weight-wise, I've never lifted it, so I can't tell you if it's heavier or not, but those are a couple features I really like. I also like the fact that it keeps things really clean, the rear wheel, you don't have things that are getting in the rear wheel, and you're not wearing out something that you don't need to be wearing out on the bike itself, and uh, that kind of stuff. So. I really like those features about it, and uh, these guys have just been in the space for a really, really long time. They know the space, they know the uh, software end of it really, really well, so great company to take a look at. So check them out. If you have any questions, make comments below, get on the blog, start talking to our community. These guys will get a link to this video, they'll answer certain questions for you, but most of all, just get out there and ride your bike and keep cycling strong.